Um, please come and lie down. Relax for just a moment. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Relax in Shavasana. Relax your body, relax your mind. Breathing a few times consciously, slowly and deeply. Bringing your awareness and attention to being with yourself. Getting ready for the asana practice for the next 30 minutes or so. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Bring your feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch, exhale, turning to one side, come and sit up. Let's begin the class with a prayer, Om Chanti. Om. Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviram Karavavahai, Tejasvina Vadhita Mastuma Vidvisha Vahai, Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat, Om Namashaya. Welcome to the third class of this special Asana class series. Let's begin with Surya Namaskar. Please come and stand up. Sun salutation. Come to the top of your mat. Bring your feet together. First round of sun salutation. Right side. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, palms together, one. Two, inhale, arms up, arch back. Three, exhale forward and down. Four, inhale the right leg back. Five, retain the breath. Six, exhale. Seven, sliding forward, hips down, head and chest up. Exhale, hips up, inverted V. Nine, inhale the right foot forward between the two hands. Ten, exhale the left leg. Long breath, 11, inhale, arms up and arch back. 12, exhale, arms down, relax. Very good. First round on the left side, inhale, exhale, one, palms together. Two, inhale, three, exhale, four, inhale, left leg back. Five, retain the breath. Six, exhale, seven, inhale, 8, exhale, inverted V, 9, inhale, left foot forward, 10, exhale, the right leg, 11, inhale, arms up and arch back, 12, exhale, arms down, relax. Second round, right side, inhale, exhale, 1, 2, inhale, 3, exhale, the right leg back, 4, inhale, 5, hold the breath. 6, exhale, 7, inhale, 8, exhale, inverted V, the right leg forward, 9, inhale, 10, exhale, 11, inhale, 
12 exhale relax left side inhale exhale 1 2 inhale 3 exhale left leg back 4 inhale 5 retain the breath 6 exhale 7 inhale 8 exhale left leg forward 9 inhale 10 exhale 11 inhale deeply 12 exhale relax one last round inhale exhale 1 2 inhale 3 exhale right leg back 4 inhale 5 retain the breath 6 exhale 7 inhale 8 exhale right leg forward 9 inhale 10 exhale 11 inhale 12 exhale left side inhale exhale 1 2 inhale 3 exhale left leg back 4 inhale 5 hold the breath 6 exhale 7 inhale 8 exhale inverted V left leg forward 9 inhale 10 exhale 11 inhale deeply 12 exhale arms down relax very good please come and lie down relax in Shavasana three rounds of Sun salutation Surya Namaskar relax your body relax your mind Um, bring your feet together, keep your hands underneath your thighs, palms facing down. Let's do some work for the legs and the abdomen, double leg raises. Deep breath inhale, both legs up. Split the legs wide apart as you exhale. Bring the legs together, inhale. Bring the legs all the way down to the floor, exhale. Very good. Second time, inhale, both legs up, exhale apart, inhale together, exhale legs down, three, inhale up, exhale apart, inhale together, exhale down, four, inhale up, exhale apart, inhale together, exhale down, five, inhale, Exhale apart, inhale together, exhale down. Two more times, inhale up, exhale apart, inhale together, exhale down. One last time, inhale, exhale apart, inhale together, exhale, legs down. Arms and legs apart, relax for a moment. Breathe into the abdomen and lower back. Relax the arms, shoulders and the neck. Um, very good. Feet together. Stretch both arms over behind your head. Inhale. Nice long stretch. Exhale. Release the arms. Turning to one side. Come and sit up. Relax in the child's pose for a moment. Prepare for the headstand, Shirshasana. And now come and sit up. Measure out your arms. Make a tripod with your hands. Keep the crown of your head on the floor. Lift your hips up. Get the back straight. Get your knees into the chest and then lift your knees up, straighten the legs. Shirshasana, headstand. If you are new to the Shivananda class,
you haven't practiced the headstand before or you haven't done the shiver in the beginner's course, don't do the headstand today. You can relax in the child's pose or you can watch. Now holding the headstand, slowly split the legs wide apart. Do what is comfortable for you. If you do not want to move, then you can keep holding the headstand the way it is. Slowly bring the legs together. Move one leg forward, other leg back. Slowly bring the legs back to the center. Change the sides, making a scissor with your legs. Wonderful, back to the center, bring the soles of your feet together, make a namaste with your feet, the knees are split wide apart. Slowly bring the legs back up, hold it steady for a few moments. Mm, slowly bend your knees. Come down, relax in the child's pose. The 30 minutes asana sequence is not for beginners. It's mostly for people who have been practicing the Shivananda class fairly frequently and regularly. We can call it an intermediate class. Come and sit up and then lie back in Shavasana, arms and legs apart. Rest and relax, just for a moment. Um, legs together. Make enough room behind your head. If you have an obstruction at the back, slide down on the mat. Arms by your side, inhale, legs up, hips up. Support your back, Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Very good. Now hold and breathe. Slow, long, deep inhalations, slow, complete exhalations. Each of the asanas is a possibility of steadiness, a possibility of relaxation, a possibility to meditate. Hold it steady, hold it comfortably and breathe freely. Deep breath, inhale, long breath, exhale. Now preparing for Halasana, the plow, inhale deeply. And as you exhale, slowly lower both the legs down behind your head. The plow, Halasana. Keep supporting your back today. Whether your feet touch the floor or not. And then supporting your back slowly, separate the legs wide apart. Do what is comfortable for you. If you're more flexible, then you can split the legs more. Even if your feet are not on the floor, you can separate the legs. We are doing a variation of the plow with the legs split wide apart. Um, 
Take your time, slowly bring the legs back together. Keep your arms on the mat now, use them as brakes and slowly roll out of the asana one vertebra at a time. Mm, wonderful. When you're ready, bend your legs. We will practice the wheel chakrasana. Keep your legs at least shoulder width apart. Heels are close to the buttocks. Hands underneath your shoulders. Fingers pointing in towards the shoulder blades. Now inhale, lift your hips up. Chest up. Shoulders up. Head up. The wheel chakrasana. Activating all the chakras in the body. Breathe long, breathe strong, breathe deep. And slowly exhale, come down. Very good. Bend your knees into the chest. Hug your knees. Give your back a nice gentle counter stretch. Release the legs, stretch your legs forward. We complete the shoulder stand cycle with the fish. Matsyasana, legs are straight, arms are underneath your body. Elbows close together, inhale, lift your head and shoulders up, chest up. Tilt your head back, keep the crown of your head on the floor behind you. Breathe slow, breathe long, breathe deep. Slow, long, deep inhalations. Slow, long, complete exhalations. Um, gently slide the head down and relax. Arms and legs apart, shake out your shoulders. Gently turn your head from side to side a couple of times and then relax in Shavasana. Relax your body, relax your mind. Feet together, stretch both arms over behind your head, inhale, nice long stretch. Exhale, release the arms, turning to one side, come and sit up. Take the length of the mat, separate the legs wide apart. Lift both arms up, inhale, turn and face your right leg, exhale, bend forward and down. Today we are practicing a variation of the sitting forward bend, working on either side of the body. Very good, inhale, stretch forward, lift your arms up, turn and face your left leg, exhale, bend forward and bend down over the left leg. stretch forward, lift your arms up, face the center and then slowly exhale, bend forward and bend down. Hands on the floor. Forearms on the floor, elbows on the floor. Do what you can do comfortably. Each of the asanas is a chance for us to release hidden tension physical and mental. You do that by surrendering to gravity and uh, breathing consciously. Very good. Inhale, stretch forward, lift your arms up and exhale, drop the arms down, relax.
Bring the legs together. Give yourself a counter stretch. The incline plane, Purvottanasana. Hands behind you. Inhale, hips up. Throw the head back. Open the shoulders and chest. Try to lift your hips higher than your chin. Slowly exhale, come down. Turn over, lie down on your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands and relax. Just for a moment. Big toes touching, heels falling apart. And now let's begin the backward bends, starting with the Cobra Bhujangasana, hands by the side of your shoulders, forehead on the mat, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulders, legs, heels together. Inhale, head up, shoulders up, chest up. Press down gently with your hands, arching your back, point your chin upwards, breathe strongly. And slowly exhale, come down. Stretch your arms forward, keep your forehead on the floor, legs slightly apart. We're going to do the boat now, Carson. Inhale, head up, arms and shoulders up, chest up, legs up. A complete work for the back. Breathe on five. Breathe on four, breathe on three, breathe on two, and exhale, come down. Make a pillow with the hands, take rest, relax. Bend your legs, catch hold of your ankles. Let's practice Dhanurasana, the bow. Forehead on the mat. Inhale, head up, shoulders up, chest up, knees and thighs up. Very good. Breathe deeply. Keep holding. Chin and knees up. And exhale, come down. Make a pillow with the hands. Relax just for a moment. Feel the abdomen moving against the floor as you breathe. Um, hands by the side of your shoulders. Stretch back into the child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Give you back a nice counter stretch. Um, come and sit up and come into a squatting position. Try the Crow Kakasana. Hands on the floor, shoulder width apart. Bring your knees onto your upper arms. And shift your weight forward until you're able to balance on your hands, bringing your feet off the floor. And the crow developing the balance between the two hemispheres of the brain. Balancing the hormones, balancing the physical, mental and emotional bodies. Even attempting the crow will bring you the benefits. Wonderful. Slowly bring your feet down and then come and stand up, taking the length of the mat. Split the legs wide apart. Both arms up. And then slowly as you exhale, bend forward and bend down. You're doing a leg split, standing forward bend. Do whatever you can do comfortably. If you like, you can hold your ankles. If you are 
flexible and your head is on the floor, you can stretch your hands back through the legs, turning your palms upwards. Very good, inhale, stretch your arms forward, lift all the way up and exhale, drop the arms down. Let's do a standing spinal twist. Bring the right hand down on the floor between the two legs, the center. Lift your left arm up, turn and look up at the left arm. Twisting the spine. Wonderful. Change your hands. Bring the left hand down. Keep the left hand the center of the two legs. Right arm up. Turn and face the fingers of your right hand. Breathe with awareness. Wonderful. Slowly bring the right hand down. Inhale. Slowly come and stand up. And exhale. Drop the arms down. Keeping the toes pointing forward. Bring the legs slightly closer to each other. Left arm up. We do the triangle. Trikonasana. Slowly exhale. Bend to the right. When the toes are pointing forward, the inner thighs get a different kind of stretch. Wonderful. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, arm down. Change the arm. The right arm up. Inhale. Bend to the left. Exhale. Very good. Breathing deeply. Breathing with awareness. Good. Inhale. Slowly come back up. Exhale. Drop the arm down. Feet together. Please come and lie down. Get ready for final relaxation. Lie down in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Shake out your shoulders. Adjust your body. Find a really comfortable resting position for yourself. And get ready to complete the practice with uh, complete relaxation. The body generates a lot of prana during the practice. Vital energy. During relaxation, the final relaxation, the body and mind get a chance to absorb the tremendous energy that has been generated. Relax the legs, relax the arms, relax the back. Relax the shoulders, the neck and the face. and relax the mind. Rest and relax.
bring your feet together stretch both arms over behind your head inhale give yourself a nice long stretch exhale release the arms turning to one side come and sit up let's finish the class with the final prayers legs crossed back straight om chanting om Satoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishade Om Shanti 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 He Ambulo Sadguru Maharaj Ki Jai Hari Om Tat Sat Wonderful to have you in the class today. Thank you for joining. If you're enjoying the series, please let us know. Do post your comments in the comments section. And uh, do subscribe to the channel. If you are a frequent visitor to the channel, do share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you. Om Tat Sat.